Uh, today we have Asclepias tuberosa, or butterfly weed. And this one is probably one that many of you have heard of. If you don't have this one in your garden, you're behind. Let's, let's get this one. <laughs> everybody welcome to wonderful plant Wednesday I'm gonna get started right away today because the weather is not sure what's gonna happen with the weather so we're just gonna get started uh, wonderful plant Wednesday here is where I come on and talk about native plants that you can plant in your yard um, to help support clean water healthy habitats and strong communities throughout the Delaware estuary because that's our mission here at partnership for Delaware estuary if you have any questions uh, or comments you can put them in in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them as I see them or at the end and then wherever you're seeing this later after it's live Facebook Instagram Twitter um, I can also find your questions there and answer them after the live so feel free to post whatever you'd like wherever you see this so let's get to it to today's plant uh, today we have Asclepias tuberosa or butterfly weed and this one is probably one that many of you have heard of if you don't have this one in your garden you're behind. Let's let's get this one. This one is everyone should have it. It's a great garden plant. It's great for just everything. Wildlife. So many benefits that we'll talk about. So Asclepius is a Greek god of healing uh, or Asclepios or something like that where you get Asclepius from uh, because this plant had many medicinal properties from uh, indigenous people and into the 1930s it was still used to treat lung infections or Pleurisy, it's sometimes called pleurisy root, as to treat lung, lung infections. Tuberosa refers to the tuberous roots it has, uh, very, uh, very tuberous roots, actually makes it hard to transplant. So once you get this plant established, you really want to keep put, keep it put because those tuberous roots like to stay there and uh, can make it hard to transplant. And then it's called butterfly weed because of the butterflies like it. That's an easy one. So. You may be like, this plant isn't very attractive. <laughs> and it's true, this plant is past its prime, uh, at least in my garden here, although we do have some more flowers coming, which is good, it keeps flowering really for quite a long time, and I have more flowers coming, but it's kind of past its prime. And, uh, uh, and, and that's because I waited, because I wanted to wait for you guys to show you this plant in my garden because I wanted the monarch caterpillars to come. And they have usually come every year I've had it. I have had monarchs, uh, the, um, the milkweeds are a few different species in the genus Asclepius, are the really the only food source for the monarch caterpillar. There's several species though, but only the milkweeds. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second, but I just want to mention my sad story about the monarchs. So I waited and waited for the monarchs to come to my butterfly weed, and they did. I saw them last week, I think it was Thursday, so right after last Wonderful Plant Wednesday, I saw it. And I was like, oh good, I can, I can do this plant next week. And then, the next day I come out to look at them, and they're all gone. And instead, I see a giant praying mantis. <laughs> and I think the giant praying mantis ate all my monarch caterpillars. So that's really sad, but it happens, it happens. Uh, your butterfly weed and your native gardens in general are going to be a habitat for everything. Uh, and you gotta accept, you know, the losses with, with the gains. So, that happens. But, so I don't have any, you can see where they ate some. So I don't have any monarchs to show you today. It's very sad. But it's okay. It is still a great plant in general. Um, so, like I said, they're called milkweeds, Asclepius. Uh, and the flowers liked by the monarch caterpillars are Asclepius milkweeds. And they have this really milky sap in them. And there's a substance in there and in the plant in general called cardiac glycosides, which is what the monarchs are able to eat and not, it's a poison for most things that eat this plant. Most mammals, it's deer don't like it, most mammals don't like it, a lot of other insects don't like it, but the ones that have specialized on it, on the milkweeds, do like it, and they've learned to be able to take this uh, poison in and, and not be poisoned from it. So it's really a benefit to them. 
to eat this plant that nothing else can eat. And that's what the monarchs like too. Monarchs are then colored in the bright orange to kind of deter predators because they're, they're poisonous. They get this substance in them and then they become poisonous themselves. This butterfly milkweed actually has less milky sap and less of that cardiac glycoside than some of the other milkweeds do. It is not quite as high in, the, in that poison, but butterflies still, or monarchs still like it just fine. They will live on it. Um, they just have to re rely a little more on their coloring to deter predators than actually being as quite as poisonous, but it still works. Um, these do great in all conditions. Um, dry, or this is the dry one. You can find a milkweed for pretty much any condition. Butterfly weed, like dry conditions, it's drought tolerant, full sun, uh, so good for those. But there's also swamp milkweed, Asclepias incarnata, which likes wetter conditions. There's also common milkweed that you see on the side of the road that gets really pink, uh, really nice pink flowers, Asclepias syriaca, but that is more weedy, it will go everywhere, so more of a meadow situation, you might want that one. I love this butterfly weed for so many reasons, but it is one of the only orange, really, really orange flowers in the garden. These flowers are so orange, and really you don't see a lot of orange. When it's done flowering, it gets these cool seed pods. This is one of the seed pods coming here, and I'm sure we all saw growing up these eventually turn into brown and they have full of little fluffy seeds that you can blow in the wind. They're kind of fun to play with and can help spread the seeds for more milkweed. This does grow by seed okay in the garden. If you really want more of it, it's best to try to start the seeds indoors and then plant them out once they get a little bigger. You can find this uh, in the stores as a cultivar in yellow. I have a yellow here. And you can find it in the wild very, very, very rarely, yellow and red, very rarely. Mostly in the wild, it's gonna be orange. But I have um, this other plant over here. There's lots of other critters that like this plant too that are specialized on this plant. There's milkweed beetles, milkweed bugs, milkweed aphids that really like this. But try not to be bothered by it. I know we like to support the monarchs, but we need to support all the insects and really none of them will, uh, d none of them were going to kill the plant, destroy the plant. The only one I've seen that in a really new plant you might want to control a little bit, particularly there's these fuzzy caterpillars called tussock moth caterpillars. I've seen them really, really destroy new plants, but I've also seen monarch caterpillars destroy new plants. So watch out on your, on your seedlings first year plants, but otherwise you can pretty much leave everything go. They'll be fine no matter, um, they're made to work together, right? It's a little ecosystem. So the plant can tolerate it. They've evolved in this arms race with the plant and the insect. So don't worry too much about it. Um, there is a, a milkweed you'll find in stores, tropical milkweed, that is not native to here, but is often sold. We don't really like that one. It can be bad. To, um, it flowers at different times can maybe confuse the monarchs, so just get the native ones. They do so much better. It is a long-lived perennial, so you'll have it in your garden for a long time. Slow spreader, but not too much. A very slow spreader. A little clumpy, forms clumps. And I just a fun fact. Oh, two fun facts. It emerges very late. So in your garden, you'll see everything popping up in the spring and you'll be like, where's my milkweed? Where's my milk milkweed? It didn't come back. It will. It come back very late, um, late June even. So don't worry too much about it. And then I wanted to show you the flowers up close if I can. So it has these five little petals, and then in there is where the butterflies come for the pot, for the nectar. This is one of the few flowers. Bees often also eat pollen. When they come to a flower, they're looking for pollen and nectar to eat, bees. Um, but this one doesn't have any pollen that they can eat. It's only full of nectar. The pollen has, is has really sticky. It's called pollinia and it sticks to the bees instead of the bees carrying it. So when a bee comes to another pollen plant with loose pollen, 
they collect it. And then when they go to a next plant, it's kind of the little collection gets off onto the plant and helps with uh, pollination. But on this one, they, the pollen sticks to the bees, like kind of accidentally on their legs. And then when the bee goes to the next one, the little sticky things uh, get off that way. So it's a little trickier. Than, than typical bee pollination. And no, no other plants have these pollinia except some species of orchid. So that's a fun fact. Okay, I think that's mostly about um, milkweed. They're, all the seasons are very interesting with their interesting seed pods and beautiful flowers. All around a great, great garden plant. I don't know, again, if you don't have this one in your native garden, um, you're missing out. If it's a little wetter, maybe you want Asclepias incarnata, swamp milkweed instead, but this one's really a real winner. Alright, so I don't see any comments uh, coming in, but like I said, no matter where you see this, feel free to ask questions and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for tuning in with my guest milkweed today, or butterflyweed. Uh, I hope to see you next week on Wonderful Plant Wednesday. Thanks!